Hey folks, Tanker Man here. How y'all doing? If y'all wondering why they put these little uh, black top speed bumps right before you get that stop sign, across the road there's a big drop off down that old drainage ditch. Uh, and uh, there have been quite a few people try to uh, run this section of road and gone completely over that edge. So they put that there to kind of prevent that. Let them know, hey, you better stop. <laughs> but that's why they put speed bumps there. Now, if you wasn't worried about wondering why they put them speed bumps there, well, guess what? You know now. Well, this road here, it's funny how uh, through the years the uh, nature has let the uh, deer tracks all through in here uh, has filled in uh, How my mic get messed up? Well, <laughs> funny thing about it is. I come out of here so I can ride the road and uh, don't go and look at me. I done went and got on trail, didn't I? <laughs> well, that's what's nice about dual sport. You know, you do a little bit of everything. But, uh, like I said, I knew I had wind up on a trail, but when I took that little road, but I really wasn't planning on doing that much playing on it. But like that hole right there, down here in Louisiana, mud holes, a lot of them don't have bottoms on them. And uh, like, oh, uh, Luke there, the 75 K5 guy, he went up, uh, Luckily, he didn't mess up his KLR. He hit a hole and sucked some water up in it and everything else. So, but luckily, it all worked out where he didn't do no damage to his bike. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people I know. Uh, one guy in particular, he uh, he bought a new uh, four wheeler. He paid a fortune for that thing. And uh, I can't tell you for sure if it was out here or Claiborne, but he wound up uh, sucking a bunch of water in his uh, motor and brand new bike had to take the motor completely apart. You know, well, I guess kind of like uh, Mercer Duff Factor going to that uh, WR tree fell across my little go back up this way You know, one bad thing about not having a game plan, like I don't ever have a game plan. I get out of here, I'm just like, where I want to go next? <laughs> I 
I do know it is starting to get a little warm up. I got a big trail ride tomorrow, so I don't want to get myself tuckered for that. So I think that I'll just head out here to the road. But like I said, this road here. Oh, it uh he used to go on out there to the gate and everything well it still does but it's kind of gotten rough but these trails right in here that the forestry department put in back when i was a kid me and several of us who had bikes we actually rode down through in here and actually made a lot of these trails like through this section here <laughs> we're the ones that have pioneered them and uh me and some guy that i used to ride with we <laughs> i see them every now and then they we all get a good chuckle out of it there say if we only knew back when we were cutting them trails we was going to help the government But, uh, yeah, we, uh, we had this trail over here, and we come over across over yonder. Um, that trail there used to be a little uh, road and everything, but, uh, you go way back up in the woods. But right up in here, uh, to your left, See over there? Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm lazy and uh, it's too hot to be walking around, I'd like to go out there and kind of look. But uh, we actually <clears throat> had took and uh, had a little. Uh, I don't want to get misconception for someone think it was an actual motor cross track, but we actually had a track through the woods there and uh that we uh had little buddy races uh you know you know no type of sanction just a bunch of friends racing each other uh but uh shoot no one built it we just came out here and uh just kept riding through the woods like y'all see me sometimes that we got beat down and uh brought axes and uh we just kept clearing until we uh made us a nice little trail a little racetrack through there and uh we will we will race out there and uh i had my little 70 and all and uh oh it was a blast uh, but what's so funny go show you how times change uh the game one wildlife fishery i all used to pull up there and they they get out and say on the tailgate of their truck and uh uh watch us uh, race out there and just laugh and have a good old time watching us and uh you know their theory was y'all having fun y'all ain't hurt nothing but nowadays with all the tread lightly program <laughs> oh you can't get off the trail you can't you, you better not get caught making no trail <laughs> Hey, uh, thank you, man. Y'all stay safe.